happen. And at the other end of the field, in the battle for first, not last, Michele La Rosa's teammate, Sergio Campana, trying to hold on to the lead in this race. Nice and neatly into turns four and five from Campana. Adrian Quayfobs really piling on the pressure. The young Briton is pushing, pushing, pushing. Now, I was just saying, maybe with three to go, he'll second, settle for second. Do you think he has? No, I'm not sure he has either. I think he wants to win this. He's using every inch of the road to get by Campana. Again, this is a bit of a forlorn hope as a pass on the outside, but it piles the pressure on the leader, and Quay Forbes smells blood in the water. Campana comes off the corner wide. Quay Forbes very tight. He's got to run down the inside, and this will play into the hands of the Briton. No, couldn't get the overlap. Decided to get his nose out of the way, and they survive another corner. Again, great thinking driving from both men. They are working really, really on the ragged edge now. Now, and both cars are bouncing all over the place, still setting fastest laps. Come on, come on, says the team to Sergio Campana. I don't think that uh, he needed any encouragement. Lap 18 of 19, two to go then. Sergio Campana with a chance to win his first race in AutoGP. If only he can hold off Adrian Quaife Hobbs. And for Campana, as, as a father and son there, watch from the pit wall. If Campana can hang on, then he will have done a stand-up job because Quaife Hobbs is really giving this everything. Look at the car shimmying under braking. Again, Campana measures the line and the length and allows Quay Hobbs to dart about in his mirrors. You must ignore that, distracting as it is. Blue flags wave. I think Campana's aware that there's another car behind him. Now in front of them, not sure who the car in the distance is. It might well be the second of the Virtuosi cars that goes straight through the chicane anyway. And Spavoni again being told off for not uh, respecting the track limits there at uh, Turn 10. He got a drive-through penalty for that. Spavoni has been through the pits three times, and in fact that's not, that's Snegarev. Max Snegarev really, I think this track has given him the willies today. He is really not enjoying it. His best lap at 1 minute 43, the leaders 1 minute 33, 32 and 30. And 29s they're doing now, and 30s. And Campana under pressure. Quave Hobbs making the move for the lead. He's got to go around the outside. And again, Campana holds on. Snegarev stays out of the way. Thank you, Max. Because coming in in the middle of the lead battle there would not have helped anybody. Again, Quave Hobbs pushes. Last lap. He wants to win this. He's going with an old adage, never leave a point on the table. He's going the long way around the outside. He's trying to push the pressure onto Campana. He's trying to force the Italian to break early. Campana hangs on. The Roman still leads. The boy from Kent behind him. Fantastic last lap action in his first auto GP race on a street circuit. The first time in Africa, the first time outside Europe for the championship. And Quaife Hobbs this time has got the inside line. He's alongside, but he has the inside line. He's got track advantage down to the chicane. Spavoni Capana rather with his nose. Half a length in front, but Quaife Hobbs again gives him the benefit of the doubt. Great clean racing. And Campana somehow is able to eke out a little bit of top end speed. Maybe Quay Hobbs gearing is hitting the limiter, but Campana hangs on and again he's just in front in the chicane. Last chance will be down into the hairpin. And Campana checks the left mirror. Quay Hobbs comes left, but there's not enough room to make a lunge down the inside. If he gets off the corner, the checkered flag awaits. It is going to be a monumental first victory for Sergio Campana and a first ever win for the MLR 71 team. The championship leader, Agent Quay Hobbs, takes second position to the applause of David Sears, but for MLR 71, a brand new team, a first win, Paul Verhaugen third.